hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video so guys before getting into this solution if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel like this video guys and share this with your within your whatsapp groups so that it can reach maximum number of students and most of them will get benefited so don't forget to like the video guys if you like the video then only our videos will get suggestions to many of the students and it will do benefit for most of them so please watch full video don't skip the video guys if i change any solution in between you may able to note those changes only if you watch full video so please do that and keep supporting me like this guys so this is week 2 assignment regarding the joy of computing using python course so guys from for the past 5 years we are giving these solutions to our viewers so with the same confidence we are giving these solutions right now also so now let's see the solutions so first question which of the following is a high level programming language so guys here there is a slight ambiguity i think they have uh, given they have made a small mistake actually c is also a high level language as well as python so as the subject is python now i am going with python only but actually both c and python are high level language that means human understandable languages but i am going with python in this case according to the subject according to the course what we are doing now so now let's move on to the second question now now let's move on to the second question so second one which of the following is an example of front end programming language front end front end programming language so for second question the answer is third option html hypertext markup language so mark option c as correct answer for second question now let's move on to the third question guys third one which of the following is used to store data in a programming language suppose if we assign variable min the value if you give this syntax like this it means the value of 3 is stored in this variable a that means variable is a storage value storage so variables is one answer and if you see array array is collection of values right collection of different kind of values so it stores multiple values so it is also a storage but loops is just a control and also conditionals so only i have got two options guys that is variables and arrays if you feel there should be any change in the solution for any question please give your opinion in the comment section guys so that we can finalize and give the best solution to our viewers and if there are any changes i will mention in the comment section so do once again watch these videos guys for any correction available at that last moment now let's move on to the fourth one which statement will print the string the joy of computing using python so for fourth question so when i did this in my compiler the correct answer that we have got is print statement within the braces you will uh, represent with a string i mean the quotation single quote or double quote so within the brackets braces it will be print statement it's i think you will already know that known that so directly you can see and say that fourth option is the correct one now let's move on to the fifth question guys so what should be the value of underscore to print all the numbers from 0 to 10 so here they have given underscore right actually you should place a number which is in these options 
we should place one number such that you will get the uh, values like this you will get the output like this so 1 2 3 something and so on up to 10 so you know that in the range in the for uh, in the for loop if you give n it will print 0 to n minus 1 right 0 to n minus 1 so if you give 10 it will print up to 9 only but we need 10 also so we have to give one more number extra that means 11 then it will print from 0 to 10 so the answer is 11 so mark third option guys guys for your understanding purpose we are giving the explanation wherever needed so moving on to the sixth question now So guys, before getting into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement which is very useful for you. So guys, this is the announcement that I have uh, told you. So guys, with nearly five years of NPTEL experience, we have prepared the joy of computing using Python. We have collected the previous year MCQ assignment questions guys. So you will not get it outside with the answers. So we have collected it. You will get Google Drive PDF access guys till the exam day and search option is also available to search the required question so for 150 bits the price is 300 guys but if you see here it is access up to three members so if you buy uh, if you purchase this pack with 300 up to three members three email ids you can use guys that means for three persons it is 300 so definitely you have to form a group with your friends guys or or the classmates so you can combinedly form three members and give your email IDs to my mail so this is my mail you can uh, you can collect 100 from each of your friends and you can combinedly buy that for 100 rupees only you are getting 150 MCQs right and the main thing is 300 bits pack so I prefer this one guys because because you are getting more MCQs more MCQs means more practice more practice so 300 bits for 500 guys 500 rupees if you see here in 150 bits it the price is doubling right here the price is not doubled guys so it's better to take this 300 pack and you also get 300 bits for 500 only and you can share up to for 5 members guys this is also same if you form a group of 5 members you can take you can collect 500 that means 100 per each person and also you each one of you will get 300 mcqs so it's better option guys so hope you think smartly and you will select this 300 pack so if you want to buy any of this pack you can mail me to this email id guys we have also prepared mcqs for various courses so if you want any course you can also message me regarding that course so if you only if you want to purchase the pdf then only message me guys so already many people have taken the mcq packs regarding various courses also so this is the email id you have to mail me for so please give your pack preference and the subject in your subject column so that I can easily understand what uh, subject do you want and also I will inform about the payment process in the mail itself guys. So first of all you can mail me to this email id. So with nearly 5 years of NPTEL experience we have collected these questions guys. So you'll, you'll, 5 of you will get Google Drive PDF access till the exam day guys not 1 or 2 months till the exam day and also such option is also available so that's it guys now let's get back let's get back to the solutions so sixth one which of the following keyword is used to declare a function in programming language so for sixth question the answer is def def now moving on to the seventh question now what will be the output of the following code so I have done this in my compiler so I have got the answer as 45 second option now let's move on to the eighth question guys what will C C is variable guys C store in it after execution of the below code so B double asterisk 3 means so it means B cube guys suppose 
a double underscore b means it, it it represents a power b so b cube means second option so mark second option now let's move on to the ninth question guys so what will be the output suppose the input is 30 so here they have taken the input without int right it means it takes as a string so if you multiply string into 2 that means it double prints 30 and 30 so third option now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one what is the output of the following program so here they have given greater symbol right so see a greater than b that means 3 greater than 4 it is right, true or false guys it is definitely false so false will be stored in c when you print c it will give answer as false so mark second option as the correct answer for final question so guys these are the solutions for week 2 assignment of joy of computing using python course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel safe please subscribe our channel like this video and share this within your whatsapp group student groups guys so that it can spread out to whole members of the class too and everyone will get solutions so and think about this guys form groups in your classroom to buy these packs so for 300 bits it's just 500 rupees only guys you'll get access for up to five members that means individually you're spending 100 rupees only but you have to fo uh, form uh, groups guys individually or five members combined the price is 500 only so if you form five members of the group each one can contribute 100 rupees so that you can buy this 500 rupee 300 bits pack and if you want only 150 bits pack you can you have to purchase 300 rupees guys the access will be given only for three members so if you want to purchase this you can mail me to this email guys i will give this email id my email id in the description box and also in the comment section so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting me like this so until the next video goodbye thank you